a shower in all my life. You recruits are here for one reason only, and that reason is war. I said war. Are you in love, Private? Then don't look at me or give me nightmares. Lights. Saustralasia, a collection of islands in the South Pacific. Reconnaissance has shown that these islands are rich in swill. <laughs> Shut up! Swill is the lifeblood of pigs. Control the swill, and you control the world. And that means war. What does it mean? War, soldiers! Precisely. And as soldiers, our job is to fight, destroy, with guns and bombs and knives and, and with your bare hands. <laughs> Before that avenue of pleasure, a series of training films to prepare you for every eventuality in the theatre of warfare. Roll it! A time for... Armies on the march. A world divided. The threat of attack from the land, the sea, and the air. No Sunday roast this week. While the soldiers are in the thick of it, back home there's plenty of work to go around. Like making high explosive bombs. Anti-tank bombs. And making other bombs. So let's make the most of it. That's the ticket. And remember lads, a war is won at home and not just on the battlefield. There is no excuse for malingering. With any luck, it should all have blown over by Christmas. He may look just like you, an ordinary fellow doing his best to win the war. But look again. A cross-section of the enemy brain. Small, isn't it? But don't let that fool you. He's a crafty devil. Just like you, he's a survivor, trained to live off the land and eat things that would make a billy goat puke. Yes, he'll scoff anything. <laughs> just another weapon in his arsenal. When one of these sweeps down the trench, the best thing to do is to go for your gas mask. The importance of camouflage. Shape. You, over there. Yes, you. There are no squares in nature. Break up those straight lines with natural foliage. Shine. Anything can reflect light, from the common belt buckle to the binoculars lens. See to it before it's too late. Silhouette. The shape of the head and shoulders are unmistakable. Even an exposed helmet attracts undue attention. Be inventive, cover up or take cover. Sound. You can make a lot of commotion while out on patrol. <laughs> Noise can carry for long distances, especially at night. <laughs> Become familiar with a silent routine in which hand signals replace the spoken word. Get it right, and they'll get the message. A soldier marches on his feet. Unassuming enough, aren't they? Just another pair of army issue boots. Mine are five sizes too big, did I hear you say? Naturally. <laughs> the military has your best interest at heart. You there, sit down and pay attention. Your life could depend on your footwear in any number of situations. There's no sinking this fellow. Good use of cover that man. And as a last resort, just place these stinkers outside an enemy bunker. Talk about clearing an enemy position. The owner of these could win the war single-handed. <laughs> Top secret. It may well be an innocent and topical chat between comrades. Here, Albert, heard anything about that top secret airplane? But no, resist the temptation of disclosure. Loose lips sink ships. 
The enemy is everywhere. The entire war effort depends on keeping secrets under wraps. Such as the Mark 13 multi-winged fighter. Oh, top secret. What a secret. Oh, look, top scientists have just completed this state-of-the-art prototype that could determine the outcome of the air war. <laughs> Good work, lads. Good work. Don't tell the wife. First aid in the field. The symptoms of trauma are immediate. Ow! As the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it is, do something about it immediately. Because a stitch in time saves nine. And if it can save ten, even better. Time to count the cost of economic and collateral damage, forge new alliances, and rebuild the peace. Hands across the ocean. Time for celebration, then? So what? So what? Why, you miserable swine? You've been away for four years. Your sweetheart has left you. Your house back home is a bomb site and you have absolutely zero chance of normal civilian employment. But then what did you think you were fighting for? So, tell me you'd give it all up? Oh. No! The soldier has war in his blood! If we can't find a war, we'll blooming well start one! That's the spirit. So long as the politicians can create a pointless argument somewhere in the world, there'll be a pointless war for us to fight! No stockpiled weapons will go to waste. Rest assured, we'll be sharing this arsenal with all manner of new and unsavory enemies across this world of ours. Good luck, lad. Our thoughts are with you, wherever you may be. Albert Potter, I've come to enlist, sir. Sir, do I look like an officer in sergeant? Ooh, sorry, uh, sergeant. You will be, Potter. Think yourself soldiering material, eh? Oh, uh, yes, sergeant. Well, you better start behaving like one. Eyes front, don't look at me, you'll give me nightmares. Back straight, stomach in, chest now, that's more like it, lad. How long have you been wearing glasses? All my life, sergeant. Will it affect me medical? Not at all, Potter. We'll stick you at the front so you won't miss anything. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Sergeant. Albert? Albert? Leave him alone, Mother. You know what he's like. I don't know what he gets up to in that room all day. I've got a bleeding good idea. He wants to get out to work, bring some decent money home. It's about time he started paying his way. When I were his age... Oh, shut up, Arthur. <gasps> Good heavens. Albert, what on earth? Mother, I'm off to the front. Oh. Oh, here we go again. 
Actually, a little bit tense further back, and then we can come up. And again, come behind. Oh, where is that? Oh. Oh well, I could be 